I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power, don't be fucking sour Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and fuck all the doubters They're just yeah. fucking downers I swear to god they all let me down you are good for nothing. Let me know a single quality that you possess. You can't do anything in life. I want to criticize you because I feel jealous of you. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown. Namaskar, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are back after a long time with another video and this video is on physics. I hope you all are doing fine. So today I will be asking you a question and you need to answer me. I hope the background looks interesting. You are good for nothing. Let me know a single quality that you possess. You can't do anything in life. I want to criticize you because I feel jealous of you. You are bad because you simply do not fit into my definition of a good person. My definition of a good person. Do you like it if I talk to you like this? No, of course no. So talking about criticism, criticism can be of two types. Constructive criticism is okay, but your criticism minded your criticism for somebody should not be destructive it only destroys the person it only destroys the person you are criticizing constructive criticism should help the person improve while destructive criticism only hurts and humiliates the person critics who do my destructive criticism in this video i am considering them as bullets which are fired by me. So considering two such persons out of the lot, I have a problem for you. I have two bullets that are fired horizontally, simultaneously from a definite height. See, I'm standing somewhere and I found my destructive criticizers i found two such people i kind of know a magic trick so i convert them into bullets and i fire them from a height from a definite height horizontally simultaneously but with two different speeds okay my question to you will be which of the two persons bullets will hit the ground first a the faster one b the slower one is it c that both will hit the ground simultaneously or your answer is b that this also depends upon the mass of the two bullets what will you choose another important thing that i would like to discuss over here is that i always I always ask to simplify the things and for this particular question your calculation or your life will become easy if I give you an option that you have to neglect any air drag like the resistance which is caused in the motion because of the air is zero and another condition that I'm putting here is that the objects in motion that is the bullets in the particular case are considered to be point objects and given these two conditions you have to calculate which of the two bullets will hit the ground first your answers are a b c and d let me know what would you choose take your time and write your answers in the comment section below Well, I think all of you must have made a guess. Now let us talk about the solution to the problem. Now talking about the path that will be followed by such bullets will 
be somewhat like this. You have a particular height and from there with two different speeds, two bullets are fired. So this means I kind of know the height at which I'm standing and the two and the two speeds are given and yeah that's all that we know and the third thing that I know here is the acceleration due to gravity the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second square so if you do not know anything about acceleration due to gravity I have discussed about it in my previous videos you can go back and check them for the time being, I tell you it is the rate of change of velocity which is due to the gravitational pull of the earth and it is experienced by each and every object and the value is 9.8 meters per second square. So these three values are known to us and from there we need to find out the solution to this problem. Also, we have discussed about the motion in a straight line and if you do not have any idea, you can check my video. I'll put the links in the description box below and yeah, so talking about the rectilinear motion, that is motion in a straight line. This motion is the resultant of the motion in x and y directions. We'll be taking these equations one by one and we'll be choosing which equation can be worked out here. For the y direction, you know that initial velocities are zero because I only mentioned that we have velocity in the horizontal direction. Secondly, you know that the acceleration due to gravity is acting upon them. So acceleration is g. And one thing that I would like to tell here is that you can choose a direction like the up direction can be considered as positive and going downwards can be considered as negative. So the acceleration due to gravity is minus 3 meters per second squared, right? And the height on which you are standing, you can give it, so you can give it a certain value, for example, h. And again, if you are standing somewhere here, the direction is taken to be negative downwards so you can consider it as minus h because your motion will be starting from that very point on which you are standing and your bullets are going all the way down now which equation to choose is the next question this depends upon what you have to find now from these three equations that we have discussed in the previous video, I think this seems to be the correct option for finding out the time. So putting the values, I find it that the nature didn't even care whether I threw a person with higher speed than the other person. So if at all I do that, both will hit the ground at the same time. But the only thing that will change is the range. Range is the horizontal distance. Now we will be applying these equations of motion in the x direction and we conclude that in the x direction we have velocities but no acceleration in the x direction. So if I consider one velocity to be u1 and the other being u2, depending upon whether u1 is greater or u2 is greater, the bullet which is fired with a larger speed will have larger range and it will fall farther from the place where it was fired. The motion will be like this. So that was all about today. I hope you enjoyed the problem and the solution to the problem. And with that, I would like to give you a message. If you can't praise or do constructive criticism of a person, it's better to keep your mouth shut. It's better not to say anything. It's always good. If you hate somebody, if you are jealous and if you just feel like doing nothing in life and this is the only work that you feel like doing, do one thing that either appreciate people or if at all you want to criticize them do that in a constructive way never do destructive criticism with this it's a wrap for today and i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next video